Hi there, and welcome to Scheduling Fates. I'm your astrologer, Jamie McGee. This is your daily insights. And today we're going to be talking about October the 24th. All right, so the calendar that you are seeing on the screen is something that the Moon Gateway members get for less than $5 a month. They can look at it on the site or download it onto their devices. And one of the great things about this is they're able to get the written horoscopes in advance without having to wait on the daily broadcast. I also get discounts on working one-on-one -on -one with me, the transit reports, and exclusive content. I also want to take a moment to thank every single one of the Moon Gateway members. I know you guys hear me talk about it all the time, but this membership is a great energetic exchange. Not only do they get all of these great incentives, but they allow me to bring you these daily forecasts every day. All right, so with that being said, we are going to talk about October the 24th. Now, yesterday we sort of hinted on the energy that we were working toward as we came out of that really intense Cancer moon. Today we are heading into that Leo moon. Now, the opening aspect of that Leo moon is going to be a square with the sun, and the closing aspect on Saturday is a square with Uranus. And to add to this, this is a quarter moon. It's the last quarter moon. So we just had that huge full moon last week. And this week, this is a time where we're like, hey, that was the harvest. What do I need to let go of? I love this. I'm going to keep this, but I need to let go of this in order to move forward. And that's going to set us up for success as we get closer to the next new moon. But because the opening and the closing aspect is so intense and Leo is such a creative and passionate sign, there could be some more intensity that you're unpacking over the next couple of days. Now, today, after the moon moves into Leo, we hit that quarter moon almost immediately. But then there's some nice flowing energy. You're really thinking about, okay, this is the faded direction I want to go in. This is what my heart is attached to. And there could be some spontaneous, out of the blue breakthrough ideas that you can work with. And that could easily be inspired by Mars in sextile with Uranus. And that transit is going to perfect at 7.13 p.m. tonight. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the astrology and the insight wrapped around this day. Now, I do recommend that you listen to both your sun sign and your rising sign. If you know your time of birth, but do not have your chart, you can definitely get a free chart underneath this. If you already have your chart, that free chart comes with some great insights that you can look at when it comes to understanding your personal natal chart. All right, so we're going to begin with Scorpio because we are in Scorpio season. All right, so today's quarter moon is really going to invite you to think about some of those big accomplishments that you had around your work, what you want to keep and what you want to let go of, especially as we get closer to the new moon that's going to be in your sign next week. Now, you could have some sudden, pivotal, great breakthrough ideas thanks to Mars and Uranus. This could come from a partnership in your life. So definitely be on the lookout for that energy. It's not something that lands in your lap. But if you walk with questions, you're going to find the right answers that you need as far as where do I go from here? Have a good one. Hi there, Sagittarius and Sagittarius rising. All right, so today's quarter moon is really asking you to think about some of those passionate or creative big breakthroughs that you had with that Aries moon. What do you want to keep and what do you want to let go of? What is serving the path that you are going toward? There's a lot of big endings and a lot of big beginnings. And I do think that there could be some habits or something that kind of comes out of nowhere in your local environment that has you looking at a transformation that you could go through. This is going to be a great breakthrough idea on an emotional level, but you're going to have to look for it to really make the most of it. All right. All right see you next time. And there Capricorn and Capricorn rising. All right. So today's Leo quarter moon could really impact something on a private level. You're thinking about your legacy, your deep, intimate relationships, how you and I connect. And you're processing maybe some big revelations that happened around that full moon close to your home. What do you want to let go of and what do you want to reach for? Because there is a new network, a new dream, a new connection that you are starting to build towards. And in order to get there, there's some things you're going to have to process and let go of. Now, with that being said, I do think there's a lot of great ideas or suggestions maybe coming from a partner that could spark some creative solutions to help you work through this. But these are the type of ideas that you have to look for. They don't kind of fall out of the sky. If you walk with the question, you're going to find the answer. And it's going to be a very creative one, possibly inspired by a partner that you have. All right. All right. I hope you have a good day. See you next time. Hey there, Aquarius and Aquarius rising. All right. So today's quarter moon is intense because it happens the opposite of your rising sign or your sun sign. So there's something that has to do with you and another, a partnership that you're trying to process. You're thinking, do I need to end this? Do I need to begin this? And there could have been a big social uproar, a lot of big information that came out with that Aries moon. And as you work closer to the new moon in Scorpio next week, that has a lot to do with your career and your reputation. You're trying to figure out who you want in your corner. Who do you want to stand shoulder to shoulder with? Now, there could be some pivotal ideas or breakthroughs that you come across, some action steps that inspire breakthroughs. 
that you're going to find in your daily routines or in your habits. But these are the type of things that you have to look for. If you walk with the question, if you seek to co-create with the universe, you're going to find the breakthrough that you're looking for. All right. I hope you have a good one. See you tomorrow. Hey there, Pisces and Pisces rising. All right. So today is Leo quarter moon. It's going to really invite you to look at the habits and the routines that you have, either consciously or unconsciously, and ask yourself, what do I need to let go of? What do I need to wrap up and finish? You're still sort of processing some of that big Aries moon around your resources and your finances, and you're thinking about where you're going to go from here, because we're going to have that new moon in an area of your life that has to do with new directions. This is a good day to look at habits. It's a good day to decide what needs to end and what needs to begin. Now, there's also an idea or some kind of passionate, creative energy that's likely to spark today. It could be from conversation or your local environment. And by leading into those suggestions, you're going to find a lot of creative pathways to that new horizon that you have your eye on. But this is a type of energy that you're going to have to seek. Talk it out. Look for the solution. Look for a way to co-create. And you're going to find more than you can ever imagine. Hope you have a good one. See you next time. Hey there, Aries and Aries rising. All right. So today's quarter moon is in a fellow fire sign. So it's in trying with you. But that doesn't make it any easier. You're still trying to process some of those big reveals, those big things that happen with the full moon in your sign. And you're also thinking about some big transformational energies that you want to go through when we get to that new moon in Scorpio next week. So there's some things that you're creatively connected to that you're going to process. It could feel a little bit edgy around things that you're passionate about today. What needs to end? What do you need to let go of? And what do you want to lean into? What do you want to replant and grow with? Now, there's also the potential for a lot of great breakthrough ideas coming from not only your home, but also your values and your resources. But this is a sextile energy between Mars and Uranus. If you ask the questions, if you take a step forward, an unknown step forward, you're going to find the breakthrough that you're looking for. See you next time. Hey there, Taurus and Taurus rising. All right. So today's Leo quarter moon could be a little bit sensitive around your home base or your actual home. There are things that you're thinking about. I need to end this. I have to change this habit. We have to rearrange this. We can't do this anymore. And that full moon that we had in Aries was all about big endings and big beginnings. And now you're really starting to bring that home and process it. But you're working towards a new moon when it comes to partnerships. These endings, these beginnings, these transitions is something that you definitely want to pay attention to, ground into. Look what's practical. What can you go forward with? Now, with that being said, Mars is going to be in sextile with Uranus, who is in your sign. So I think if you start talking about your problems or leaning into your neighbors or listening to those around you, you're going to find that you are one degree away from everything that you need. If you seek to co-create, if you seek solutions, you're going to easily find some breakthroughs today. All right. See you tomorrow. Hi there, Gemini and Gemini rising. All right. So today's quarter moon could feel a little bit sensitive because it's going to be right there in your local environment and how you think and how you communicate. It's going to feel social because it's connected to your partners and your network. You're really thinking about some things that you want to trim back. Maybe you had a huge accomplishment. You met a lot of people during that full moon. And now you're trying to, to zone in on the connections that you really want to grow. And you're letting go of some of those things that are probably just acquaintances, connections that you have on social media. It's a process of who's going forward with me and who do I just want to wave at in the distance. And that could be a little bit touchy because you're a social sign. You want to be connected to everyone, but you definitely don't want to be overwhelmed, especially as we're moving towards that Scorpio new moon. That's going to invite you to change your habits and your rituals, bring in new work and support your overall health and well. Now, with that being said, we do have Mars in sextile with Uranus today. So there's something around your money that you can take action on that could give you an out-of-the-box idea on something that you're doing behind the scenes. And a sudden ending, a sudden beginning, but in a positive way. It's a sextile. It's a suggestion. Let's do it this way. Let's take a motivated action step in this direction. But this is the type of inspiration that you have to look for. It doesn't just pop out of thin air. You're going to have to seek it, want to co-create, look within in order to find that answer without. All right. Have a good one. See you next time. Hi there, Cancer and Cancer Rising. All right. So today's quarter moon is going to impact something around your resources and your finances. So that can feel a little bit touchy. You had that full moon in Aries that was all about your reputation, your career. You could have felt like you had a really great accomplishment. There could have been some things that were revealed that you didn't like. And whatever those things were, that's what this quarter moon is going to help you decide to let go of. So there could be some things that you're cutting back on. There could be some things that you're investing. You're rearranging what are resources to you and why the skill sets that you have to gain them and the self-esteem that you have about those skill sets. And this is going to help you work toward 
that Scorpio new moon that we're going to have that's going to give you a fresh start or a new beginning around things that you love without condition, falling in love, children, entrepreneurships, things that just really light your soul on fire. Now today with Mars in your sign and sextile with Uranus in an area of your life that supports alliances and friendships and networks, it's likely that there's a lot of brilliant ideas, just breakthrough spontaneous ideas or situations that could come out of nowhere, but you need to seek them in order to find them and make the most of them. So definitely keep that in mind as you're socializing or out there being yourself today. All right, have a good one. See you tomorrow. Hi there, Leo and Leo rising. All right, so today's quarter moon is in your sign, which makes it a little bit personal, a little bit more intense because you're feeling it edgy on every corner of your life. Now, you had a really big full moon that opened up doors to a new horizon, something you wanted to learn or teach or your voice just got out there. You were able to express your creativity and your energy in a bold new way. And we're working toward a new moon in Scorpio that's going to give you a fresh new start at a foundational level, kind of build it back up the way that you want to build it. But in order to get from here to there, there's some things that you're going to have to change or rearrange or that you're considering changing about your personal brand, your approach, your messaging, how you're known in the world, even how you look. There's some things that you want to really take with you and double down on. And there's some things that you're considering letting go of. Now, with that being said, Mars behind the scenes in your solar chart or behind the scenes, if you're a Leo rising, is going to be in sextile with Uranus, who is highlighting your career and your reputation. If you look inside, you're going to find some brilliant action steps, some brilliant ideas about some things that you could do to really enhance your overall reach and your reputation and your career. But you have to look within for that thing that's hidden in plain sight in order to activate this energy. So keep that in mind. All right. I hope you have a good one. See you tomorrow. Hey, Virgo and Virgo rising. All right. So today's Leo quarter moon is more so behind the scenes on a subconscious level. So when it comes to mind and body balance, that needs to be a priority today. Self-care needs to be a priority today. Listening within before you listen without is a priority because that's going to help you understand what you need to end and what you need to begin, especially when it comes to very private, intimate relationships or financial connections that you have with other people. Now, with that being said, Mars is in a very social sector of your life, wrapped around your network and your connections, and it's going to be in sextile with Uranus, which is all about that new direction. Where do we want to go from here? What do we want to learn, teach, or explore? And how is that connected to our passions and our individuality? There's likely to be a friend or some kind of group or association that could ask you or provoke you to take some action that leads to the breakthrough that you're looking for. So even though you're being asked to contemplate by this quarter moon, you also want to keep your eyes open or like look for that one degree of separation because there's likely to be a golden gift hidden right there in plain sight. All right. I hope you have a good one. See you tomorrow. Hi there, Libra and Libra rising. All right. So today's quarter moon could feel a little bit intense because it's happening in a social sector of your life. So you could be witnessing some unrest around your friends or groups that you're associated with. Or you could be involved in it and you could be involved in like you're thinking, I need to let go of this or I really want to commit more deeply to this situation, to this group because they're aligned with me. That's a decision point that you're weighing today. So kind of keep that in mind as you work with today's energy. Who feels aligned with the person that you are becoming? Now, we also have Mars at the highest level of your solar chart or if you're a Libra rising, it's right there in your 10th house that's activating a lot of emotion and drive and determination, new new energy, but it's in sextile today with Uranus, which is working with something more so behind the scenes, a transformation, a legacy, shared wealth, deep, intimate relationships. Now, because these two are in sextile, it's like a whisper, an idea. If you ask, if you lean in, if you seek to manifest, if you seek to find a breakthrough or the action step that you need to take to bring you ultimate clarity, you're going to find it. You take action, the breakthrough comes. And the breakthrough is going to come on a more personal level, but that personal level will impact your public life. It's kind of a, an interesting balancing energy that you're working with. Who do you want to be associated with? How do you want to be known? What kind of transformation do you want to go through? I hope you have a good one. See you tomorrow. All right, that is all the signs. I do hope you found some valuable tips and insights about how to work with this quarter moon. We'll be back tomorrow to talk about your weekend ahead.